Alright, good morning everyone, and by morning, I mean like noon. <laughs> we are day three of competition here at the US Open. Me and Mike, you're about to take the lanes. What's the game plan today? We're gonna we're gonna strike and spare a lot. Ooh, I like that game strike plan. Mike, had a tough break. He had this ball that rolled really well on this oh, pattern yeah. in practice, and it's not a ball anymore. It's not a ball anymore. Cracked in half, and he can't replace it. Like what? That sucks. <laughs> so yeah, that's the uh, day three, 37 feet. Uh, it's gonna play hard like all the other patterns. So <sighs> got my Smoothie King here. Shout out, Smoothie King. This is Mikey's ball. <laughs> my ball. Check out what this ball was. He just drilled it. It was a uh, mutant cell. When, what year do you think that came out? It's gotta be like. Well, this one is an 09, so it's 09. at least 10 years old. 10 years old. It's a gem. He just drilled it. And it, it literally just cracked out. Chris, you ever get, you ever get nervous trying to make a cut? Like, trying to make a cut? Do you ever cut? feel like stressed or you just relax? Like, oh, if it happens, it happens, it doesn't, doesn't. Or do you like, do you ever feel like that little sense of like, you're just, I need to make this? Um, no, I get angry. You get angry? Yeah. Because typically if I'm not making a cut, it's because I'm physically throwing the ball bad or I'm making bad choices, which is totally on me. On you, so, right? Uh, yeah. I get angry at myself and not really anybody else. So I'm always, I'm always like, Born with a stick up my butt the whole time. I'm like, I gotta make this cut. <laughs> I, do, I feel that though, because normally it's like when you get to a certain level, you know if like you bowl what you're capable of doing, you make the cut. Right, right? exactly. So when you don't do that, it's usually on you. Like, right. you can get as many bad breaks as you want, but if you do your right, if you bowl your game, you're still gonna make the cut. Right, and, and you might not always match up, but I feel like we're at the point in our career where we are smart enough and versatile enough to where we should be able to have at least an opportunity to make every cut like I'm glad you put me in that cuz no, that's that's up. a blessing right there. All right. <laughs> he might not he might not have what we call touch and feel so he throws urethane but he can yeah, play right. Dig. He, he dig. can play right. I can. But it's still left to right. It's not it's not up to left. Dude, bro, I was like I told someone yesterday, I'm like, yeah, I'm just looking up three. He's like, bro, you're going like seven to four right now. I'm like, <laughs> the ball's not even touching three. The ball's not even touching three, unless it's by accident. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man, I got to work on this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we don't really have to play like those extreme straight angles anymore no. on tour. Like, typically, if we're playing right of 10, it's like, kind of strange. Like, even on like the short patterns. Like, for still... me, I'm so used to opening up my angles that, like, opening up even like say let's give like a four like hooking it like four right. boards that feels straight now right compared to like before i got on tour like i could play straighter if i needed to but now like i'm always used to belly in that like when i try to line up straight it looks like i'm throwing it to yeah. the left yeah. so yeah 100 percent. it's just like product of your environment right and then like a lot of us because we drift left we for me i actually stand on the board that i'm trying to hit when i'm playing straight Oh really? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's like, what? He's like, okay. don't you? I'm listening. <laughs> he's listening. <laughs> he's, <out. laughs> he's like, he's, he's about to school us right now yeah, on, he's like, uh, playing, playing straight. straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always play straight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I typically like if I'm trying to hit board four, I and I'm trying to go direct like up four. Up four. I'm standing on four, and it to me that looks straight, but. As soon as I move a little left, it's like instantly my eyes see it as trying to open up. Mikey <laughs> back Mikey's there. waving the other, <laughs> the quarter of his bowling ball that's left. <laughs> All right, here's what we got going on here. Triton Elite, it is fresh. The lanes are hooking a lot. I don't know if I have enough balls with not like higher surfaces, meaning like shiny 4,000. So we're about to hit this on the spinner. A little last minute adjustment. Hopefully this ball rolls well. I need more differentiation between my other stuff, so spinner time is on. Kyle, what are we getting out of the bag? What? What are we getting out of the bag? Oh, jab, jab.
One more thing I forgot to mention today is I just recorded my first career fine today. It was, <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Before I say talk about this, I do not advocate anything that happened. I'm gonna go this way. Um, so I was really fried. Game four. Uh, I upper decker seven on this lane, and that was the fourth time I upper decker seven uh, in the last two days on that lane. So it was great. Like, I was just uh, was unbelievably fried. It was not good. So I just wailed on a ball return. Super loud. Everyone saw me. I regret doing it instantly in fact i actually went into kurt turned myself in for a fine because i was like i deserve it so i actually did something today that's uh i guess uh a first in my pba career i'm filming okay i recorded my first fine today you did i did did you add wrong no 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 i <laughs> <laughs> see that's what people think it would be well, nope. no that's because you're a nice guy if it's me you're like would you kick that's what I did. I smoked a ball return today. And then I, I actually went and turned myself in because I yeah. felt bad. I mean, it was bad. It was loud. Yeah. But first one. I've done some of that. Well, <laughs> you've been out here a while, so you're well behind I know. Me. I'm well behind you're the well behind I, I get, well, some years I get accumulation ones, some I get a one outright, you know, really good one. <laughs> Same thing. You get the good one. You just go this in was, and just this, say, this hey, was, it was hey, like, uh, yeah, that was yeah, me. That was me. That, yeah. was, that was it. It was so good. I'm like, I deserve it. But it was, it was worth it, so. First, first time. Sometimes you just have to let it go. <laughs> what? Let what? It about 1 a.m. We start bowling at 8 a.m. Practice starts bowling at 8 a.m. We made it somehow, some way. We're beat. We're tired. So this is going to be short and quick. This was a long week. Long week. Unfortunately over for the Tangs. Oh, your brother didn't make it either? No, he ended up missing it by 20, I think. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. I got lucky. I went Brooklyn in the second ball in the 10th. Yeah, you need him. You got him. <clears throat> it's the U.S. Open. I know. But yeah, we're going to bed. Early morning tomorrow. See ya.